Well, we can tell you that we have just learned that the three Marines who have been killed all worked at the officer candidate school on base here at Quantico. We want to show you this map here. All of the yellow you see, that's the base. This is an enormous base. Well, the circle area there, that's where this happened, right near the Anvil security gate. We understand the shooting started inside that officer candidate school building at around 11 o'clock last night. We understand a male Marine uh, shot and killed another male Marine at around 11 last night. And right now, the motive is still unknown. Then the suspected shooter barricaded himself with yet another Marine, this one a female. She was also eventually shot and killed. The standoff between the gunman and authorities lasted a couple of hours. Prince William County Police assisting outside the perimeter, and eventually they moved in with the SWAT team. It all ended a short time ago when the suspected shooter, again, a male Marine who was at this point surrounded by police, was killed from an apparent self inflicted gunshot wound. For hours, the base was locked down, and we heard announcements over a loudspeaker throughout the base advising everyone to remain inside with doors locked. We spoke with a lieutenant spokesperson. Person moments ago, here's what he had to say. But really, we just asked for his thoughts and prayers. Everyone's pretty much initially shocked, and we're trying to understand uh, not just the details, but, but why something like this happened. Now, at this hour, we can tell you that an all clear code green has been issued throughout the base here at Quantico, but now the investigation begins into this tragic situation. Three Marines dead, they have not been identified.